ब्रह्मादिभ्यो ब्रह्म विद्या संप्रदाय कर्तृभ्यो शर्षिभ्यो महद्यो नमो गुरुभ्य सर्वोप्लवरे प्रज्ञान घन प्रत्यगत्थो ब्रह्मेवाहमस्मी ब्रह्मेवाहमस्मी नारायण पद्म भूम वशिष्क शक्ति तत्पुत्र पराशर च व्यास शुकं गौड़ पद महांस गोविंद योगींद्र मथा से शिष्य श्रीशंकराचार्य मथा से पद्म पादस्तामल कंच शिष्य तंतोटक वार्तिकुरुस्मृतिपुराणाचार्य केशव बागरायण सूत्र भाष्य वंदे भगवंत पुनः पुनः ईश्वर गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योमद्याप्तदेहाय दक्षिणाूर्त नम सहनावतु सहन घन प्रो सह वीर करवाहे तेजस्वीतमस्तमाशाभे ओं शांचाशाति आमनायांक संसिद्ध आदिमध्यार्जित आनंद घनमापूर्ण समन्वयाधिकरणिंग मोक्ष सो अन्यपरत्वाक्षेप वॉज शास्त्र से अन्यपरत्वाड ब्रह्म विच इज रिवील्ड बाय शास्त्र अलोन दट इज नॉट राइट द तात्पर्य इज नॉट ब्रह्म तात्पर्य इज कर्म एंड यजमान हू इज द कर्ता हिज स्वरूप इज एक्साजरेटेड इज ग्लोरिफाइड इन दी उपनिषत्स The response given was tattu samanvaya, tad brahma samanvayat, samya kanvayat, brahmani samya kanvayat, tattu brahma shastra ika gamyam, tatpare vishya ityartha. So brahma is the tatpare vishya of not only Upanishad but also of the entire Vedas. Karma kandas are useful. For Chitta Shuddhi, whereby Brahma Jyotiasa will be resultant, and through Vichara, one will finally know the Swarupa as Brahma, which is not Arthavada. It is Idam Itham. It is Satya Swarupa, Trikala Abhadi Swarupa, Trikala, or not only Trikala, but Trishu Avastha Swarupa. This Trishu Avastha Swarupi. it is abadita that kind of a swarupa when known without any upadi then the jiva is free from samsara so tattu samanvaya was said as the siddhanta sutra in the sutra we saw the last line we saw is taken karma shesha kartra adi para uta nitya siddha brahma para iti sandehe <clears throat> Why does Puro Pakshi say that Samanvaya is not right, or rather, Samanvaya is the response? Why does he say that uh, the Shastras are committed to karma? Because even if hypothetically you say that. the shastra is committed to revealing brahma what are you going to get finally shastra being karma para even the vedantas have to some way be connected to karma if at all karma is the tatpare vishaya which is what puro pakshi claims then either we say that the vedanta is arthavada or you will have to establish you the siddhanti has to establish as to what will be the effect of knowing brahma 
बिकॉज अहेय अनुपादेय इट इज इट कैनॉट बी त्याज्य इट इज नीदर त्याज्य ब्रह्मा वंस यू नो देन नोइंग ब्रह्म यू कैनॉट डू त्याग ऑफ ब्रह्म एंड नॉर कैन यू हैव सम एंगेजमेंट विथ ब्रह्म त्याज्य ग्राह्य रहित ब्रह्म दैट कैन ऑफ ब्रह्म अहेय अनुपादेय सिद्ध ब्रह्म एंड इट इज समथिंग विच इज ऑलरेडी देयर इट इज नॉट अ रिजल्ट ऑफ एनी नोइंग नोइंग विल नॉट गेट यू एनीथिंग कर्मा गेट्स यू फला बट नोइंग विल नॉट गेट यू एनीथिंग सो सिद्ध ब्रह्म परत्वे वेन दैट इज दी तात्पर्य विषय एज पर दि सिद्धांति ऑफ द एंटायर वेदा देन निष्प्रयोजन एंड सापेक्षत्व निष्प्रयोजन बिकॉज नोइंग ब्रह्म सिंस यू के नॉट एंगेज विथ ब्रह्म और यू के नॉट विड्रॉ फ्रॉम ब्रह्म रूपादी रहित ब्रह्म के नॉट बी शब्द स्पर्श रूप रहित ब्रह्म इज यूजलेस फॉर ट्रांजैक्शन देर फोर निष्प्रयोजन एंड सापेक्षत्व सापेक्षत्व मीन्स देर इज अ डिपेन्डेंसी नोइंग दिस वॉट डू यू वॉट शुड यू डू वॉट शुड यू डू हैविंग नोन दिस सो यू नो दी यजमान स्वरूप देन यू यूज दैट कर्तृकारका इन कर्म सो देर इज अ डिपेन्डेंसी ऑन कर्म देर इज अपेक्षा सो सिद्ध ब्रह्म बींग सिद्ध देर इज नो यूज देर इज अ डिपेन्डेंसी द रिस्पॉन्स वी आर एट टू सी सिद्धांत अस्तु हाउ एवर दी सिद्धांत इज सेज थ्रू दी तू शब्द तत्तु समन्वया थी सेज तद ब्रह्म तू समन्वया सम्यक अन्वया ब्रह्मणी सम्यक सम्यक अन्वया दिस इज द रिफ्यूटेशन तू शब्द सौत्र तू शब्द पूर्व पक्षी पूर्व पक्ष व्यावृत्यर्थ दि ऑपोनेंट्स व्यू इज रिफ्यूटेड बाय सेंग तू तद ब्रह्म तत्स तद ब्रह्म वेदांत प्रतिपाद्य दैट ब्रह्म इज डेफिनेटली रिवील्ड बाय वेदांत एज अ तात्पर्य विषय कुतः फॉर व्हाट रीजन कस्मा कारण समन्वया समन्वया इज सूत्र शब्द द मीनिंग इज सम्यक तात्पर्यवत्वेन वेदांता ब्रह्मणी अन्वया संबंधा सिंस ईच एंड एव्री वेदवाक्या हेज संबंध विथ ब्रह्म नॉट विथ कर्म इट इज नॉट कर्मांगा बट एव्री वेदवाक्या इवन दि अवांतरवाक्या एंड कर्मकांड वाक्या ऑलसो चित्तशुद्धि द्वारा दे आर यूजफुल इन उत्पत्ति ऑफ ज्ञान वेर एज महावाक्या विच रिवील दि ऐक्य बिट्वीन ब्रह्म एंड जीव दे आर साक्षात् कारण फॉर ज्ञानोत्पत्ति मोक्ष देर बाय ब्रह्मणी अन्वया सम्यक अन्वया सम्यक इज तात्पर्यवत्व एज दि ओनली गोल ऑफ द एंटायर शास्त्र द रियल पुरुषार्थ इज मोक्ष एंड दैट इज ओनली बाय नोइंग दि स्वरूप जीव कैन गेट मोक्ष ओनली बाय नोइंग हिज ओन स्वरूप वन सोन स्वरूप अतः वेदांता नित्य सिद्ध ब्रह्म परा न कर्तरादिपरा सो दि संदेह वॉज किम ते वेदांता कर्मशेष कर्तरादिपरा उत नित्य सिद्ध ब्रह्म परा सो सिद्धांत से नित्य सिद्ध ब्रह्म परा नॉट कर्म शेष कर्तरादिपरा एज वॉज दि पूर्व पक्ष नित्य सिद्ध ब्रह्म परा एंड इफ यू ऑब्जेक्ट दैट ऑफ बींग नित्य यू के नॉट हैव ट्रांजैक्शन That will be refuted next. So na kartradi paraha bhinna prakarana sthatvat. First hetu is given as bhinna prakarana sthatvat. There is difference in prakarana. Karma kanda is a different prakarana and jnana kanda is a different prakarana. So Vedanta vakyas which are there in the jnana kanda. Whether or not they are in the, uh, at the end of the Vedas. Even if they are in the mantra or brahmana sections till the prakarana will be different the section that deals with karma is different the section that elaborates the karma is different brahmana the section that talks about upasanas in the aranyakas that is different but still within the mantra bhaga bhagama or 
in the brahmanas or in the aranyakas if the prakarana is different it is not talking about karma or karma shesha anga or upasana then that which reveals brahma is not revealing the swarup of yajamana for karma but it is revealing the swarup of each and every living being not only jiva who has karma adhikara but jivas who do not have karma adhikaras not only jivas who are human beings but also those which are not in this loka or in this loka as vrukshayit vrukshadi or ankuradi or pashu pakshi elsewhere devatas or rakshasas all of those even kitas are brahma this is the real tatparya however this knowledge can take place only in the buddhi of a human being therefore it is purushartha moksha is purushartha purushana uh, purushai arthyate purushai arthyate and because of that reason purushana mev it is only for human beings purusha includes men women both and it is for human beings primarily there are exceptions devatas are exceptions we'll see later so bhinna prakarana tattva being present being stha tishtati tishtanti because they are present in bhinna prakarana kasmat bhinna karma upasana prakaranat bhinna prakarana stha na cha prakarana bhedad उपासना विधि परा सांप्रतम नवदि पूर्व पक्षी से जो कि प्रकरण इज डिफरेंट यू आर सेइंग दैट इट इज इन प्रकरण वेदांता आर इन प्रकरण विच आर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम कर्म बट देन उपासना आर देयर इवन इन केनोपनिषद वेयर दी बिगिनिंग इटसेल्फ इज यू नो ज्ञान द क्वेश्चन इज आस्क्ड बाय केन द नेम of the upanishad is also due to sadaka's question that sadaka is an advanced sadaka kene ishitam preshitam patati manaha <coughs> so there although it starts with a question where the jnana is given at the end upanishadam bho bruhi tell me this upanishad and then at the end after all the teaching still some upasana is taught there therefore <coughs> therefore the puropakshi says the prakarana is upasana prakarana now it may not be karma but there is upasana therefore prakarana abheda from the section where upasanas are abundant in chandogya which has eight chapters five chapters are upanishad chapters three chapters are jnana where again in that jnana also some upasanas may be there therefore upasana prakarana and vedanta prakarana are same prakarana abhedad upasana vidhi para iti sampradhi na sampratam siddhanti says now you cannot say that upasana and vedantas being in the same prakarana the vedanta vakyas which reveal brahma vedanta vakyas are those which reveal brahma those are all part of upasana now not of karma but they are upasana anga upasana vidhi para thereby all these statements which even reveal brahma they reveal brahma as a vidhi in upasana so you think yourself as brahma you are not brahma you think yourself as brahma just like shivlinga is a stone you can do you know prana avahana ityadi prana pratishtha and then have buddhi you can have buddhi of ishvara you can have maheshwara shiva buddhi in that stone similarly you think yourself think of yourself as brahma ahangra upasana
So these are the various possibilities of Upasana. Similarly, this Vedanta Vakya, Upanishad Vakya is also a vidhi for Upasana. You do it and then you will get something. Some phala that will be talked about. It is na sampratam, says this Siddhanti, he says oh, it is not so. Why tattvamasyadi, tattvamasyadi nam vidhi vidura nam bahulam upalabdhe. He says tattvamasyadi, the, these vakyas, tattvam asi, you are that brahma. Aham brahma asmi. Ityadi, all these, any vakya which gives aikya between Brahma and Jiva is a Mahavakya. Since the four Maha, uh, these Amnaya Pithas have taken one Mahavakya as primarily their, their Mahavakya. They teach that Mahavakya to their Pithadishas, the, the Uttaradhikaris. Therefore, four are famous. But then there are so many other vakyas, other than these four, which talk about the aikya between Brahma and Jiva, they are all Mahavakyas. So, Tattvamasyadi vakyas are many, which have no vidhi there. So, if at all you say, oh, you know, these upasanas are there, think about this, you know, vidyut as Brahma. That, you know, that is there in the Upanishad. In Mundaka. So, you know, Vidyut, think about lightning as Brahma. So, Tattvamasi, that Vakya, Aham Brahma Asmi, there is no Upasana prescribed there, there is no Vidhi. It is Asi. It's not that you will become. And Latlakara, if you convert it to late also, Vijiling, still you will not get that sense as to you become that you try to become that there is no becoming something if you are if you are a jiva limited jiva you can never become limitless so you cannot become or it is not that you will become brahma therefore the sentence has to be understood as swartha para not upasana or vidhi para tattvamasyadina vidhi vidurana vidhi vidure vidure rahita vidhi rahita nam Bahulam Upalabdhi. Many such Vakyas are available. Upalabdhi is there. That is the Hetu. Since there are many Vakyas available like Tattumasi, which are bereft of Vidhi, therefore you cannot say Prakarana Bhedad Upasana Vidhi Para. These Vedanta Vakyas are committed to Upasana Vidhi. That you cannot say because there is no Upasana Vidhi in so many Vakyas which are Mahavakyas. Then Yattu, Yattu Nishprayojanatvam Uktam Tadayuktam. Siddhanti says further, because it is Nitya Siddha Brahma, if the Tatpare Vishaya is Nitya Siddha Brahma, ever existent Brahma, then there will be Nishprayojanatvam. Nishprayojanatvam was the Akshepa, one Akshepa. So there is a, he says Tadayuktam. Why? There is prayojana. What is the prayojana? Anartha nivritti. Anartha nivritti he prayojana se sambhavat. Because anartha nivritti is the prayojana. Sarva anartha nivritti. Not only one or two anarthas, all anarthas which are causing samsarana, which are causing samsara to the jiva. Since when? Anadi kalena. That anadi kalataha, samsara which is going on samsarana, that will go away. Avidya Kama Karma. Avidya Kama Karma is the triad, the anartha triad, which will keep on going till what? Till jnana, till you know your sarupa, it will keep on going, otherwise it will go on forever, tending to infinity. Those kind of janmas, since beginningless time, and it will go on till ever. 
Even after the kalpa, one will be born again as a samsari and continue from there. Therefore, tyaga, grahana are the are not the ones which will lead to prayojana in this case. The swarupa being known, one will not be deluded into misunderstanding oneself as a limited being. Hankering for something or the other on all fronts, trying to become Purna. A Purna can never become Purna. As long as there is Dvaita, there will be something wanting. The person will always feel wanting. As long as Dvaita, that's why Shruti says, Dvitiya Dvai Bhayam Bhavati. As long as there is Dvaita, that will lead to plurality. Duality is not actually duality as in only two. Two will lead to three, three to four, four to five. In fact, after two, the next jump is actually multiplicity. Everything is bhinna from me. And bhinna thought what? Oh, this person is out there to harm me. This entity is there to harm me. Even those who say, I know I am afraid to be alone. How will I uh, live this entire life being alone or, you know, walking in a forest area or some, you know, secluded place at night? No, I am not uh, afraid of duality. I would like company. I am afraid to be alone. The idea is not actually being afraid when alone. The idea is there is someone or something out there to harm me, which can harm me, potentially harm me. With that idea, one is scared. If one is really alone, there is nothing to be scared of. So, Dvitiyadvai Bhayam Bhavati. Siddhanti is saying, Anartha Nivrutti, by knowing that you are the limitless Atma, Brahmatma, it will take away all the side effects or actually effects of duality. Thinking of yourself as a limited person and then as a person. Who is limited? As a person itself you are limited. Considering yourself as having a body you are limited and therefore everything else outside your body is either Tyajya or Grahya. This is the thinking, erroneous thinking which has led you to believe that Knowing that there is Brahma outside me, I have to either do Tyaga or Grahana of that Brahma. Say the Siddhanti to the Purva Pakshi. This is an error because there is nothing outside of you. There is nothing inside and outside. It is defined by the body. The body is Mithya. Sharira is Mithya. All Shariras are Mithya. There is only one all pervasive Satchidananda Brahma. And that will take, and that you are, that is your Swarupa, that you are, therefore all Anartha Nivrutti, Sarva Anartha Nivrutti, hey, Prayojana Se Sambhava, that Prayojana is possible, you cannot deny, because I don't have that Prayojana, nobody else has got it. It is impossible, you cannot say, it is possible. There are examples in the Shastra, in the Sampradaya, there are examples. Yacha Sapik Shattvam, then he says, okay, Nishprayojanatvam, maybe there is some Prayojana you see, but Sapekshatvam. There is an apeksha because it is Nitya Siddha Brahma, Brahma which is revealed. Just like something which is revealed, which is existent. If it is not Nitya also, Siddha Brahma. Siddha Brahma you take. Similarly, Siddha Ghatta. Knowing that a Ghatta has been created, what do you get? It is useful in some Kriya, some Karma. You use the Ghatta to fetch water. You use it to Fetch milk, whatever. There is some prayojana in some karma where this will, this ghata, which is Siddha ghata, will have utility. Similarly, Brahma, which is Siddha Brahma, will have utility in karma. Sapekshatvam, yacha sapekshatvam. Yacha sapekshatvam tanna. The second fault also that you are trying to point out, because it is Siddha Brahma, there is apeksha of something else. It is dependent on something else. Tanna. Why? Rupadi hinasya brahmana pramana antara gamyatvena. 
ही सेज रूपादि हीन ब्रह्म दैट ब्रह्म इज निर्गुण ब्रह्म डज नॉट हैव शब्द स्पर्श रूप रस गंध देर फोर रूपादि हीन एंड वी सॉ रूपादि हीन रूपा इज प्राइमरली मेन्शन फॉर नैयायिका हू सेज दैट फॉर प्रत्यक्ष रूपा इज नीडेड सो इफ इट इज नॉट प्रत्यक्ष बिकॉज ऑफ हैविंग नो रूपा देन हाउ विल यू इंटरेक्ट विद दिस ब्रह्म विच इज the objection you created in the earlier nishprayojana tvetu now he is using the same reasoning siddhanti uses the puro pakshi's reason which is given as you cannot do tyaga or you can do you cannot do grahana of brahma because it is rupadi rahita siddhanti says yes it is rupadi rahita therefore what you cannot use it in some karma it will never become a karma anga so rupadi nasi brahmana pramanantara gamyatve na तत्प्रतिदक वेदातना सापेक्षत्व असंभवा वॉट इज ही रियली सेंग एक्सटेडेड इट एंड सेट दैट इट के नॉट बी यूज इन कर्म बट हाउ प्रमाणातर अगम्य बिकॉज पूर्वपक्षी इज सेंग रूपादिहीन इन दि अर्लियर केस वेन प्रयोजन नॉट बीइंग देर निष्प्रयोजन वॉज दि ऑब्जेक्शन That was answered by saying prayojana is there anarthani vritti. Sapekshatvam. What is he saying really? Siddha. The itu for aheya anupadeya as Siddha Brahma Paratve. So Siddha aheya anupada being aheya anupadeya nishprayojanatvam. So you have to split it. Aheya anupadeya tvat nishprayojanatvam was the objection by Purva Pakshi. Then Siddha Brahma Paratve. सिद्ध ब्रह्म परत्वा सापेक्षत्व हाउ सो सापेक्षत्व सिद्ध ब्रह्म पर हाउ विल दैट बिकम हेतु फॉर सापेक्षत्व ही सेज लुक एट लुक एट सापेक्षत्व इज अनदर प्रमाण देर इज अ प्रमाण वेर द डिपेन्डेंसी दैट इज वेर एक्चुअली पूर्व पक्षी इज कमिंग फ्रॉम वी कैन इंटरप्रेट एज सापेक्षत्म एज हैव अ डिपेन्डेन्सी ऑन कर्म बट देन हाउ सो हि सेज प्रमाण अनदर प्रमाण विल हैव टू टेल यू वॉट दिस इज बिकॉज इन दि लोका वी सी वॉट एवर इज सिद्ध फॉर एक्सापल गो एक्सिस्ट इवन इफ वन काउ इज देर द अदर काउ इज देर सो गोत्वा इज इंडिकेटेड बाय गो शब्द वेन समवन डज नॉट नो अ काउ एंड अनदर पर्सन शोज Teach is a child. The child does not know the cow. Then how does this shakti grahana take place? So the naya ika says you look at or puro imam se call so they say there is a shakti in the shabda. There is linga. The shabda shakti is a linga to know something. There, if you show a cow to the child, look at this. This is a cow. Then he looks at it and understands. Maybe you not one time. Three, four times in different scenarios, when you show the cow, the child understands. If the child understands what is a cow at that instant, and let's say it is a white cow, then how does he know another white cow or another black cow or a brown cow? How does he know? He still knows. You don't have to teach him again. He looks at another cow and understands that is a cow. How? Because in the first instance when the child understood the cow he didn't didn't understand it as go as go he understood it as as gotwa the gotwa in the in all cows the gotwa which is there in all cow is what is understood by him and he sees gotwa in the second and third cow also he sees gotwa in all cows that he he sees after that understanding in the first instance therefore siddha gau the siddha gau is known through another pramana when you want to talk about a cow it has already been known in in the case of like for example now you are using the upamana somebody does not know gavaya then it is govat It is like goes so another pramana where upamana pramana an example you are using 
upamana an example to teach something that becomes a pramana one understands by example something else so for that example whatever is used as example for that understanding what is used as an example in another pramana upamana pramana pratyaksha the earlier pratyaksha of the gau is karana thereby siddha brahma also when you are talking about brahma that brahma as seen in the shabda pramana in upanishad this siddha brahma will have dependency on some other pramana to be known first elsewhere it has to be known and then you can use in in shastra this is the kind of some something like that that thinking is going on here for example uh, he anupa they will also work there when the child is taught what is ghata not even taught in fact he need not even be taught the child is just sitting there playing around and the father tells his elder brother ghata manaya he brings a pot of water or a ghata then he takes you take the ghata he takes the ghata looking at these usages where ghata word is used in different sentences and seeing that the elder brother is picking up the pot bringing the pot he is placing the pot the child understands who is watching over the bala that this is a pot this is what is called as a pot by some miracle of the creation of ishwara the child understands his buddhi is like that it develops in such a manner that it starts uh, gaining this knowledge storing this knowledge and then the child grows up to understand all these words nobody has taught him per se you know the children pick up even when not taught their ears are open they keep on seeing and they understand similarly the child has never heard you know bring brahma take brahma deal with brahma whatever he has never heard such statements in loka there is no such usage no child will grow up to know brahma by some pramana when he counters that in the upanishad there is nothing to deal with because brahma exists and he does not know there has never been an interaction he has seen with brahma therefore sapekshatvam the sapekshatva there is a dependency of brahma revealed in the upanishad as siddha brahma which is siddha brahma existent brahma nitya siddha even there is a dependency on another pramana so there the siddhanti says rupadi hinasya brahmana pramanantara agamyatvena agamyatvam is hetu what you are saying is the reason there cannot be sapekshatvam also you can, it cannot you cannot use it in karma because this brahma cannot be known by any other pramana you have to know brahma for what brahma is as revealed in the upanishad that is the primary pramana that is the only pramana all other pramanas if at all there are other pramanas in some way to make this understanding own up this swarup of yours all they have dependence all of them have dependence on shravana of the shabda in the upanishads upanishad shabda that is a pramana so pramana anya pramana is not possible in this case because brahma is rupadi hina rupadi hina therefore pramana antara agamyatvena tat pratipadaka vedanta nam sapekshatva asambhavat therefore there cannot be an apeksha of apeksha of anything for the vedanta vakyas which are revealing that brahma tat brahma tat tat is brahma brahma pratipadaka vedanta nam the upanishad vakyas which reveal brahma they cannot have dependency on anything else because anything else which is to be a primary pramana cannot be primary pramana because rupadihina cannot have pratyaksha so pratyaksha is not possible therefore whatever has dependence on pratyaksha is definitely not possible anumana ityadi now so many tattvamasyaadi vakyas have been mentioned to be direct of vidhi then what are they really for what are those vakyas for tasmad upakramaadi lingair vedanta brahma para so vedantaah brahma paraah eva iti siddham there is no second guessing here 
There is no possibility also because this is not guesswork. What is this? Upakramadi Linga have established it. These Tattvamasyadi Vakyas have been analyzed and seen after Mimamsa as what is their real meaning. All these Mahavakyas and Avantara Vakyas also finally will lead to that Mahavakya which will reveal the Swarupa of Jiva as Brahma. They are the Tatpare Vishya. How do you know they are the Tatpare Vishya? Because Upakramadi Lingas tell us there are Shad Lingas, six Lingas which tell the Tatparya of Vedantas. And it is not that, okay, this is also Tatparya, that is also Tatparya. Brahma para eva. They are committed only to reveal this Brahma. Iti Siddham. Iti Prathama Varnakam. This is the first meaning of Tattu Samanvya. <coughs> or rather, why this Sutra has been created. We look at what is Upakramadi Linga. There are six lingas. The shloka says, in the Upakrama are the six lingas. Upakrama upasamharau abhyaso purvata phalam arthavado upapatti cha lingam tatparya niranaye. Tatparya niranaye lingam. What is a linga? An indicator. What indicates or what indicates conclusively as to the Tatparya of Vedanta Vakyas. First Linga is Upakrama Upasamharau. Upakrama and Upasamhara, the beginning and the end. The introduction, whatever is in the beginning, introduction and the end. Conclusion. That is the Tatparya Vishya. Because even you know in, in your daily life or at, at your workplace or in your studies, college or whatever, when you are talking about something which is important, which is Tatpare Vishya, you give a one hour talk, you will make an opening statement, you know, I will talk about this. Finally, this is what is intent, that is a topic. That is the main subject matter. So, you will talk about it a little in the opening and in the end also you will sum up with the same. That is the Tatpare Vishya. Whatever is, whatever you open with and whatever you close with. There may be a lot of, you know, a uh, lot of opening you know, discussions or statements, but then you will touch upon this matter which you will touch upon at the end also. In conclusion, you will sum up. That is the Tatpare Vishya. So, in the Upanishad also, Upakrama Upasamhara Abhyasa Purva, so Abhyasa Purva Thavala, Upakrama Upasamhara, Upakrama and Upasamhara, Upakrama Upasamhara. For example, Sadeva Somyidam Grasit, Tat Satyam Satma. In the beginning, Sadeva Somya idam agrasit. Idam agre. Srishte prak. Idam sarvam jagat. This jagat was before Srishti Sadeva. It was Sadeva. It was Sat. Is it not Sat now? It is Sat now also. But earlier it was only Sat. Meaning all this prapancha which also has Nama Rupa now. For Vyavahara you need Nama, you need Rupa. So Nama Rupa is for Vyavahara. But this Vyavahara Ayogya Brahma, Sad Brahma, makes Vyavahara possible with Nama Rupa when it takes Nama Rupa as an Upadi, as, a, as something which is Mithya. It is only for Mithya Vyavahara, Mithya Nama, Mithya Rupa has been given. It has been taken up in this Mithya Srishti. So before Srishti, what was the case? This Prapancha Jagat Nama Rupatmaka Jagat was Sad Eva, meaning it was bereft of Nama and Rupa. That is the Adishthana, that is the Sad Brahma, that Satta that you see now in each and everything, that Satta is the Satta of Brahma. Tat Satyam and that Tat Sa sa Atma in the Upasamhar in the conclusion in Chandogya Tat Satyam Sa Atma. Then Tattomasi, it is stated Tattomasi that Tat Satya Atma sa, Sadeva Satyam that Sat which is this Prapancha before creation which was Sad Brahma that Sad Brahma you are. Sa Atma. So Atma is means Atma is understood as oneself. 
सह आत्मा तत्व इज इक्वेटेड विथ सह तत् इन नपुंसकलिंग ब्रह्म और अर्लियर सत इन छंदोग्य कैन बी इट इज सत एज इन द एक्जिस्टेंट ब्रह्म द एक्जिस्टेंस इज यू सह सह आत्मा स इज विधे प्राधान्य ने पुल्लिंगत्व दट न्यूटर हैज बीन इक्वेटेड विथ pullinga because atma is pullinga which is the swarupa of each and every one as aham aham then abhyasa second linga as abhyasa tattvamasi has been repeated nine times navkrutto upadesha nine times there is an abhyasa repetition of tattvamasi that is the tatpare vishaya tad brahma is the tatpare vishaya as atma as you as i for each and every being aham aham so that is it at for vishaya third ling as apurvata <coughs> apurvata tells you that this is the only pramana there is no other pramana indriya agrahyam rupa dhrayat raitatvena that we have already seen <coughs> arupa asparsha all these words have been used to say that brahma is beyond कैप्चर बाय एनी प्रमाण सो प्रत्यक्ष इज नॉट द प्रमाण फॉर ब्रह्म देर फोर अनुमादी अनुमानादी ऑल्सो नॉट प्रमाण शब्द उपनिषद अलोन इज द प्रमाण सो अपूर्वता इज ऑल्सो देर दैट इज अनदर इंडिकेटर दैट वॉट एवर यू नो ब्रह्म एज इन दि शास्त्र दैट इज ब्रह्म देर के नॉट बी एनी अदर वे एंड श्रुति डज नॉट टॉक अबाउट समथिंग विच इज पर्पसलेस सो देर इज अ पर्पस दैट पर्पस इज अनर्थ निवृत्ति Fourth linga is phalam. What do you get knowing Brahma? You said nishprayojanatvam anarthani urutti, but what is it phala? Anarthani urutti Brahma Veda Brahma Yogavati. Say this urutti Brahma Veda one who knows Brahma Brahma Yogavati. He is Brahma. He was Brahma. He will be Brahma. He knows that he has ever been Brahma. That is the phala. meaning that anartha nivrutti is by taking away the root cause for anartha which is avidya that will go away by this vidya aikya jnana and therefore swarupa jnana takes away aswarupa mix up one becoming identified with the koshas various levels of koshas various upadis so that is the fourth linga fifth linga is arthavada arthavada either in the in the case of uh, any arthavada in the in the case of uh, something which has is the tatpare vishaya that is glorified or opposite to that is the ninda of so either there is ninda ninda mukhena so ninda is not to nahi ninda nya ninda is not for the sake of ninda but it is to praise the opposite सो अर्थवाद वॉट इज अर्थवाद एक ज्ञान सर्व ज्ञात एव्रीथिंग विल बी नोन वन यू नो दिस ब्रह्म एव्रीथिंग विल नॉट बी लिटरली नोन बट एव्रीथिंग विल बी नोन द वे इट्स कारण इज नोन सो यू लुक एट समथिंग न्यू यू गो डो म्यूजियम एंड यू लुक एट समथिंग न्यू यू विल एवर सीन सच ए यूटेन्सिल ऑफ वॉट एवर यू से वॉट इज दिस वॉट इज दिस यू कैन मेक आउट द color and what it is and someone tells you oh it is just painted in this manner it is actually clay it is painted with gold and silver you think that it is you know mix up of such metals you have never seen that someone tells you it is clay it is made with clay you tap on it or whatever if you are able to look at it or in a shop or something may not be in a museum so you know once you know it is clay you lose your interest or your interest is satisfied you are no more curious you know that it is a pot made up of clay so you don't really care uh, then he says that oh what all uh, you know what all you see up to the end of this row or whatever various shapes and sizes whatever you see we call it by different names and forms whatever they are we call it by different names they take up different form but it is all clay so once you know it is clay 
कारण ज्ञान एक कारण ज्ञान सर्व कार्य ज्ञात होती ऑल कार्य इज नोन दिस इज दि स्तुति अर्थवाद ऑफ दि ज्ञान ऑफ दि कारण ज्ञान एज वॉट दट कार्य बींग कारण अभिन्न कार्य के नॉट बी विदउट कारण वंस यू नो दि कारण दे कार्य इज ऑलो एज वेल नोन लास्ट लिंग सिक्स लिंग इज उपपत्ति उपपत्ति युक्ति अनुमान युक्ति श्रुति हर्ष व्यूज नेहना किंचन बै से वाट द्वितीय चंद्र शोज द्वितीय चंद्र ऑलो नेहना किंचन देर इज नो प्लुरालिटी बट दे प्लुरालिटी इज प्रत्यक्ष टू मी हाउ कैन श्रुति से देर इज नो प्लुरालिटी बिकॉज प्रत्यक्ष इज अ प्रमाण विच इज ऑब्जेक्टिफाइंग एवरीथिंग एज रियल श्रुति से देर आर नो मल्टीपल थिंग्स आई सी घटा घटा पटा आई एम सेपरेट फ्रॉम दैट घटा पटा आई हैव पेरेंट्स आई हैव चिल्ड्रन आई हैव वाइफ स्पाउस आई हैव फ्रेंड्स एंड एनिमीज देर आर बर्ड्स एंड एनिमल्स देर आर यू नो वृक्षा देर इज सब्जेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट डिविजन ऑल ओवर देर आर ऑल सर्ट्स ऑफ कारका डिविजन्स सो नानात्व इज दे हाउ कैन यू से न इह नास्ति किंचन नाना नास्ति किंचन अभी नॉट इवन अ लिटिल नानात्व इज देर देन हाउ इज इट लाइक अ द्वितीय चंद्र यू सी द्वितीय चंद्र यू नो देर इज सम डिज किमीर दोष इन दि आईज देर इज सम प्रेशर सो यू पुश युअर आई बॉल यू कैन सी टू सो सम प्रेशर इज देर विद इन ड्यू टू अ डिज देन यू स्टार्ट सींग टू थिंग्स A single child appears as twins, but there is no second. Single Chandra, there is only one moon, but appears two. So Dithiya Chandra what? Appears does not mean it is true. So Nana appearance, Sruti says yes, appearance is possible, but it is not Satya. That is Upapatti used in the Shastra in Vedanta or Sopnavad. <coughs> Sopnavad Darshana Sambhavat. प्रातिभासिक सत्य नॉट व्यावहारिक ऑल्सो पॉसिबल इन व्यवहार ऑल्सो यू कैन हैव गज्जु सर्पवत ज्ञान बट देन इज द्वितीय यू डोंट सी सेकंड देयर सो स्वप्नवत इन स्वप्न वन बिकम्स मेनी एज दो मेनी यू वेक अप एज वन यू स्लेप्ट एज वन यू सॉ ऑल शॉर्ट्स ऑफ Sentient, insentient beings in your dream, separate from you. You are the subject. Everything else is an object, but still, you are all one. Even during sleep, you are one really. You are sleeping in your room. Similarly, there is nana tva possible of this one indivisible entity. You did not did not become divided in sleep. Similarly, this brahma brahma atma brahma atma. remaining one indivisible entity as though becomes many appears many and thereby through these lingas tasmad upakramaadi lingaihi vedantaha brahma paraha eva iti siddham it is undoubtedly so there is no argument possible about this iti prathama varnakam this is the first explanation of tattu samanvaya yadva Otherwise, what is the other possibility? Yadva itham Brahmano Vedanta Vedyatve api tad vidhidvara angi kuru vata ekadeshino matam prasangad akshipya. Since there is karma paratvam sapekshatvam talked about here, it gives an occasion to take up another puro paksha who is ekadeshi, who is also Vedanti, but he is an ekadeshi. He is an ekadeshi. He agrees with a part of what Advaita Vedanti is agree with. He agrees partially. Agrees, so he also says yes. There is aikya of Brahma. There is jnana, which is revealed by the Shruti Upanishad. But still, his mata is what ekadeshi mata is what he says. It is a vidhi for upasana. So jnana will give you nothing more than a possibility of upasana on that jnana. so you are brahma but you are brahma in the sense what you will become brahma if you keep on meditating on brahma as yourself then 
you will become brahma that is the vidhi you do upasana this is the ekadeshi mata so shravana you get jnana and then he says nididhyasana is actually dhyana on that jnana you do as per vidhi it's a vidhi of because upasana is what upasana is dhyana and nididhyasana dhyai chintane two interpretations are possible but then dhyana is also possible so if it is dhyana then that dhyana will lead to moksha by you are becoming you are abrahma atma you abrahma atma becomes brahma atma this is what they say so nididhyasana is needed to convert you into brahma jiva atma into brahma atma so yadva otherwise itham brahmana vedanta vidyate api yes brahma is known only through Brahm, vedanta shabda pramana even so tad vidhi dwara angi kurvatah ekadeshina he says that it is only vidhi dwara upasana vidhi dwara it is a vidhi and thereby there is brahmatvam of jiva to refute that this sutra has been created so it serves that purpose also tattu samanvayat is the sutra so purvena asya prasanga sangati how does it connect it is a prasanga because there is an occasion to talk about ekadeshi mata also he is refuted there atra purva pakshe upasanaya mukti hi siddhante jnana iti phala veda what is the difference he says upasana will lead to mukti once you get the knowledge then it becomes a vidhi to do upasana for upasana upon and then that will lead to mukti siddhanti says jnana iti phala veda jnana jnana deva to kaivalyam So kaivalya is only through jnana only due to jnana nothing else is needed everything else is subsidiary everything else is asakshat it is all parampara karana but sakshat karana is jnana only that shravana itself will lead to mukti all the shamadamadi and upasanas karma all this prepare karma prepares the chitta for jnana to take place and upasana gives ekagra ekagra for nishtha in that jnana tatra vedantah pratipatti vidhi visheshataya brahma samarpayanti uta sakshariti sandehe vrittyadi linga bhavena siddhe shakti graha yoga pravrutti nivrutti parasyeva shastratvena siddha paratve tattva yoga cha vidhi visheshataya eva iti purva paksha so purva pakshi says when there is a sandeha what is the sandeha तत्र वेदांता दिस वेदांत वाक्या उपनिषद वाक्या प्रतिपत्ति विधि विषयतया ब्रह्म समर्पयन्ति उत साक्षात डू दे दिस वेदांत वाक्यास रिवील ब्रह्म एज अ विषय ऑफ विधि प्रतिपत्ति विधि देयर यू नो दिस ब्रह्म बट that is a vidhi to do upasana and thereby brahma is upasana vishaya that vidhi vishaya upasana vidhi vishaya or saksha meaning you brahma is revealed that is all you have to know this brahma clearly doubtlessly that is all that is needed iti sandeh this is a sandeh purva pakshi se vrittyadi linga bhavena there is no possibility of dealing with this brahma any other way you have to do upasana the vritti the vritti the way ghatamane so what was discussed earlier in the earlier thing i had mentioned ghatamane as one possibility so that is taken here as what this vritti does not take place in the antakarana without the vishaya like ghata ghatamane ityadi ghatamaneya gamaneya gam badhana so you tie this you know tie the cow you bring the cow take away this pot that will give the idea of what the pot is what the cow is so shravana takes place darshana also has to take place this shravana of brahma has taken place darshana has not taken place atma va are drashtavya says the shruti puru pakshi quotes that and he says shrotavya all right i agree shrotavya but mantavya निधि 
So that will lead to darshana. Darshana of Brahma is not possible without upasana as a vidhi there. So the vidhi shrotavya, mantavya, nididya sitavya. Thereby, just like ghatamane, ghamane, gambadana, ityadi vakyas will lead to shravana as well as darshana. Here, shravana and darshana are not taking place of Brahma. Therefore, what? Since Brahmaanaya, all these Brahma Naya, Brahmaanaya, those vakyas are not heard. Nowhere have, are they heard inside the Shruti or outside the Shruti. Therefore, what should you do? Shakti Graha Yoga, Siddhe Brahmani Shakti Graha, graha Ayoga, Siddhe Ghate, Siddhe Gavi, Shakti Graha Yoga is there. But in Siddha Brahma, Shakti Graha is not taking place. By Shravana it is not taking place. So, Vrityadi Linga Bhavena, uh, Linga Bhavena. So, the Vritti is not taking place. You know, Ghatamane Ityadi, Vritti, what Vritti takes place, similarly Brahmane, that kind of Vritti is not taking place. Therefore, Vritya Linga Abhavena, those Lingas are not there. You have nothing to interpret the sentence in a manner the way the Vritti of the Ghata takes place and when Ghatamane, that kind of Vritti takes place, that is not taking place in the case of Brahma. Therefore, Shakti Graha Ayoga is there. The way Shakti Graha Yoga is there due to Darshana in the case of Ghata, Gau, etc. Here in the case of Brahma, Shakti Graha is not possible. Therefore, Pravritti Nivritti Parasyeva Shastratvena. What is a Shastra? This Brahma revealing Vakyas are not really having Shastratvam, says the Ekadeshi. Why? Pravritti Nivritti Parasyeva Shastratvam. Natu Anyasya, that is the thinking that he has. He says, Pravrutti is not possible in case of Brahma. Nivrutti from Brahma is not possible. And these Vakyas, which say Tattvamasi, there is no Pravrutti there. Nivrutti is not there in Tattvamasi. Therefore, Pravrutti Nivrutti Parada Tattvamasi Vakya, Tattvamasi Masya Adi. Tattvamasi Adi Vakyas are not Pravrutti Nivrutti Para. That alone is Shastra. So this is not Shastra. Therefore, Siddha, Parat, uh, Siddha Paratve Tattva Yoga Chya. There is no possibility. Siddha Paratve Tattva Yoga Chya. There is no, you know, there is no Tattva there. In the, the Siddha Para Vakya of Brahma, which is already Siddha, there is no possibility of that itself leading to anything. Therefore, what? It has to be taken as a vidhi. It is not going to lead you to anything. Knowing that, what is it going to get you? Nothing. Vidhi vishayate. You take it as a vidhi though. That you are Brahma, you will become Brahma. Then what? Upasana is possible. Therefore, vidhi vishayate eva iti puro paksha. Vidhi is possible and thereby Brahma is not just the Siddha para Brahma. It is the Vakya is not Siddha para, it is Vidhi para, and thereby Vidhi Vishetaya Evati Purva Pakshaha. Upasana will lead you to Brahmatva Bhava. Siddhantastu Siddhanti says, Not so, Tad Brahma, Tattu Samanvaya, Tad Brahma, Sakshat Vedanta Samarpayanti. Sakshat Brahma Samarpayanti. Natu Pratipati Vidhi Vishetaya. That is the idea. Two is taking away Pratipati Vidhi Vishetum of Brahma. Upasana Vidhi Paratum of Brahma Vakyas is been taken away by two Shabda. But Tad Brahma, what? Sakshat Vedanta Samarpanti. The Vedantas reveal that Brahma and there is no Prapyatum there, but you are already Brahma. That is how Sakshat they are. Moksha Karana Kutaha Samanvayat Tatparevatvena Tesham Tatra Anvayat because there is Anvaya of all these Vakyas into the same Brahma Tatpare Vishatum. We have seen Tatparevatvena, we have seen as all the Shadlingas. Then Yattu Siddhe Pravutya the Linga Bhavin Na Shakti Graha Iti Tanna. And what you said that oh, it is Siddha Brahma and therefore what? Unlike the Siddha Gata Ityadi, 
here there is no brahmanaya kind of a vakya and therefore pravrtyadi linga abhavena there is no pravrtyadi linga like you know ghatamanaya patamanaya those kind of things are not possible in case of brahma that kind of vritti won't take place you have not seen pravrtti or nivritti of anyone you have not seen the you know the vishaya being taken away brahma vishaya has not been taken away or brought there is no interaction you have seen therefore linga abhava is there and thereby na shakti graha iti tanna shakti graha won't take place means one will not understand what is brahma the jnana will not be complete this is the real objection there shakti graha won't take place of brahma the way go shabda will give you shakti graha but then the brahma shabda will not give you shakti graha iti tanna that is not so why pravrutti nivrutti eva linga mitina nirbandha there is no such rule that pravrutti and nivrutti alone will become linga and then alone this vritti will take place akhandakara vritti in the case of brahma in the case of ghata it has taken place ghata is known as ghata gau is known as gau but then brahma is not known as brahma because pravrutti nivrutti are not possible in the case of brahma just like they are possible in the case of ghata or gau that is not the rule at all that they are not the only lingas putraste jata ityadishu harshadi lingena api shakti graha sambhavat this shakti graha is possible even when there is no pravrutti nivrutti for example says the siddhanti putraste jataha putraste jataha what is where is the pravrutti or nivrutti in that vakya the putra let's say this uh, a soldier is there at the border he is far away from home there is no way that he can go back home but someone tells him your a son is born unto you you know there is a son born the person who is looking at him he does not understand the uh, in that case okay um, there is no pravrutti nivrutti but you take another case also the father is standing outside the delivery room the nurse comes and says putraste jataha Yeah, because linga has said so we have to take that example not the soldier so the father is standing outside he has stayed the friend has tagged along and the friend is not from that state or you know take a case where the friend does not understand the language in which the nurse told the father putraste jataha a son is born the friend does not understand what the statement means but then looking at the harshadi becomes a linga father is very happy you know the tears of joy are flowing the friend understands looking at the father who has become a father now he looks at him and he understands what that sentence means and then without pravrutti the friend has no pravrutti nivrutti there still he understands and then that becomes linga that is a linga for shakti graha so shakti graha is possible putraste jataha that sentence there putraste jata sentence although not understood shakti graha takes place so you know many cases it is used putras ityadi vakya so you know, someone tells someone you know uh, the other uh, along with this something is used a sentence not very tasteful but then there is a sentence used in shastra you know uh, says that you know your uh, putri te garbhini so some such thing you know where dukha is there the daughter is unmarried so somebody says she is uh, you know she is uh, pregnant so all these you know dukha is seen and then there is linga pravrutti nivrutti eva linga miti na nirbandha but shakti graha is possible in other cases also like this example vakya vyattu pravrutyaadi parasyeva shastratvam iti and you say that to shastratvam is not there it is not a shastra this tattvasyaadi vakya is not shastra because pravrutti nivrutti should be there pravrutti nivrutti parasyeva shastratvam that you insisted it is not so tadapi na that is also not true why shastra is what hita shasana shastratvam because shastra teaches something which is good for humanity or good for the world for everyone shastra is 
teaching Hita. Therefore, it is Shastra. So now, any Vakya Vedanta, if you're teaching Hita, then it is Shastra. Not because Pravritti and Nivritti or Nivritti is there, but then it is teaching Hita. In fact, it is teaching Paramahita, not only Hita, Paramahita Shasanath. Param Shastram, this is in fact, this is the Shastra. This is the only Purushartha. Moksha being the only Purushartha, this leads to Moksha. Therefore, this is Parama Shastra. Vedanta Ram Shastra to Upapatti. Hey, you should at least agree that this has Shastra because of Hita Shasana. Iti Dik. This is enough. Iti Alam. Sufficient discussion has gone on this topic. He says, Iti Dvitiya Varanakam. Dvitiyam Varanakam. This is the second way to look at Tattu, uh, Tattu Samanvayat. We look at Ekshatir Nashabdha. So, Chatushutri is over. This primarily gives the overview of the entire Brahma Sutras. We look at Ekshatir Nashabdha in the next part ha, onwards where we look at Puro Pakshi interpreting Tat differently. So, there all the, you know, the Shrishti Vakyas where Tasmad Vaya Tasmad Atmanaha Akasha Sambhutaha or you know uh, Sadeva Somyedamagrasit which was quoted here in you know uh, not quoted but it was mentioned in Upakramadi Linga. So what is that Tat there? So he'll he'll be picky, he'll pick up some statement to say that Pradhana Prakriti is the Jagat Karana, not Brahma, and that will be refuted in the sutras that follow. So Ikshatyadikaranam starts uh, in the next uh, Sutra with the next sutra where Puro Pakshi is Sankhya. We look at uh, Sankhya Puro Paksha and refutation thereof. Stop here. Mm. Okay, so Kamnayante um, Samsiddham Adi Madhyanta Varjitam Ananda Ghanam Apuranam Atma Jyoti Upasmahe. Tatsat. Say any questions? I'll see you in the next part. Namaste.